Hi everybody, today something has happened. First of all, I want to show my iPad Touch 2nd gen. It's a fully jailbroken 2nd gen iPad Touch. It has the Hulu Rock Roku switch. It has the new, the new antenna and it has the curved, curved look. So it's definitely a 2nd gen. And also just to prove it's still broken, I have a custom theme on it, and I even have some awful sounds I might replace them. And let's run something that we can run without jailbreaking it. Um, let's see, what do I have here? Ah, I really don't have anything, yeah, let's run just sit here. It's just for proving that is this is not a fucking lame thing. It's the real deal. It's loading its data. Yeah, anyway, it's run. I don't want to use time for that. Well. Oh, this is uh, another proof. I have SP settings on it. Well. You might think, yeah, it's that's just a tether jailbreak, dude. That's nothing special anymore. And you even showed it us to before. It showed us this before. Why are you showing us this now? Well, look at this. I'm going to power off. Yes, you might think now, what the heck are you doing, asshole? You're just going. Now you just powered it off. Why did you do that? That is for no good. Yes, look here. No wires. Let's turn it on. Let's turn it on correctly. And there we go. Custom logo. Nothing in there. It's the full untethered jailbreak. The the dev team just released it to release it, and it's it's made on an exploit that it's some of the members from the dev team found and chronic also uh, the full list uh, is here oh and that's that's not the right link well it's described here what the ex what the exploit is basically about and well really all this of the, the untethered jailbreak you see it's booted now so it's fully untethered which is great. So, this is also a little tutorial on it. So let's basically say why did they release it now instead of waiting to the next iPhone, which was intended on the first place. Well, in the first place, they didn't want to release this yet because it's the bugs you find inside the boot room. Is something you should keep for yourself. But another team or something, uh, Nitro Key, went out and began the rogue way, the idiot way, and began to sell this for 15 bucks. And that pissed all the members uh, out of the of the team that made this, and they would decide to release it. And they have already released a patch that you just add into an art. A normal build app, and it will do that for you. And it's really convenient to use. It's just like the Tether jailbreak, really. Well, I'll have a little tutorial here. How to do it? It's really simple. This is not a tool I use, but I believe it will work perfectly the same and even better. Well, first of all. Go to ipodtouch2g.info slash main slash. Then you go get this website. Quick Freedom Beta. And, well, yeah, it says it has an untethered GUI and blah blah. Blue logos and such. Just click download now. And then you'll get to Mediafire, which is the host. Just download it. Download the file. I will not do that now. I have already got it. And you get set up XA. Just open it up and install it. Just like you will install any normal app. 
Well then, go into the start bar and select quick freedom. Then this little window will pop up. Press the big button, jailbreak. Well, now you only need two things. One is lib USB. It can be tricky, but it will work. It worked perfectly on my Windows 7 installation now, so that's not a problem. And install that and get a original 2.2.1 firmware file. If it's not in the same directory as Quick Freedom, press Browse. If if you have it already, uh, if you don't have it, if you have it on your computer somewhere else, just press Browse and it will automatically copy it over for you. Or press Download to download it from. Apple's servers. Next, place or next. Then you can select if you want installer. I don't want that. It's crappy. And if you want custom logos, and I want this pineapple, which I found great. And then just press create firmware. And this can take some time. And well, I don't really need. To stay just sick to look at this because mine is already already deal broken with the untethered and all that, so this is basically just showing you how fast it is. You see, it's already at 30%, it's already 33% done. Oh, okay, I know, I know you, you probably are not all have good processors, but. You can see I have a four core processor. It's currently not running on a very high load, but it speeds thing up things up of course. Well just cancel that, I don't want it. Well now just put it into your normal GFU mode. If you don't know how to do that, you just plug in your USB cable. And hold down these two buttons. If it's already on, it's easy. Just hold these down until the screen goes off completely. I don't. Yeah, okay. Still, but um, just hold them down until this slot of power off comes, and also it, and then keep holding it into it until it will restart. Uh, go and shut down. Whoa, oh, I'm. Practice today. Well, it's always also has instructions. Then just start pre jailbreak, and that's an easy process. And it will just upload some patches and such. Then you go to next, and this is the most easiest part in this whole process. You only have to go into iTunes, and well, it's slow, yes. There we have my iTunes. And then we have your iPod, it will, it will say it's in recovery mode. And just hold down shift and press on restore this button. Then this will pop up a selection. Just go into the folder that you installed this from. Oh, it even placed it on my desktop. Oh, that's convenient. No, it didn't. Um, I don't know where it's placed, but well, anyway, it's easy. But just find the firmware file, and after that, iTunes will restore. And after that, your iPod Touch the second gen will reboot and be fully untethered forever. Thanks for watching, and I hope if you will enjoy your new untethered. I put such second gen, which I really enjoy because I really got pissed off with the fact that I had to worry about rebooting, and also the fact that you were tethered was very annoying. When if you were so lucky that Cydia make make the whole thing crash, and you don't you are about to sleep and that, and you don't really want to pull all your laptop or something, well. This is a very great way, and it's the best way. If you don't want to follow this tutorial, just wait for Dev Team to release Quick Pull. Thanks for watching, and subscribe.